Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? Amazes me how you sneak in here like that. I, I mentioned in a previous video about the training wheels that I use on my plasma cutter, and I mentioned about the little lift kit, the little extensions for the wheels for when you're, like, cutting pipe. Of course, I got an email. <laughs> Somebody wanted to see them in use. Okay. I've never used them, but I figure, what the heck? Let's try it. So I want to cut this piece of pipe in a taper. But I want to take a little pie shape out of it, and I want to taper uh, one end of it and make it a little smaller for this sculpture that I'm doing. So I thought, aha, perfect reason to break out the little lift kit for the training wheels. So this is what they are. And here's the little collar that goes on the bushing that goes on to the plasma cutter. And these are the little extensions that help to move the wheels down a little more. They make up for the roundness of the pipe. I would normally use them here to work on a flat piece of steel as you move along. But because of the roundness of the pipe, you have to extend them down just a little bit. So now your tip won't drag on the pipe. And you know, that would be great if you're just making a straight cut. That would be one thing. But I want to make a cut around the edge, of, or around the curve of the pipe itself. So, <laughs> oh boy. So let me show you how these work. It's really pretty slick. So I got my piece of pipe clamped down on the bench. Got my ground out of the way. I added this other clamp to the end because I've already made one cut. And I just want to help stabilize things a little bit. So as I'm working across this way, I'm not having to fight things moving around. But the cool thing is what happens to the, uh, to the wheels is I'm following my line going across the edge of the pipe. The wheels want to go straight. So you've got to kind of work it two ways at once. It's really kind of fun to watch. So just a little quickie dry run before we turn the machine on. Just right off the edge of the pipe. And you kind of follow off the seam in the gun itself and follow your line that way. Don't worry about what the wheels want to do, but you can see the wheels trying to turn and go straight down the pipe at the same time. So let me put the rest of my gear on, fire the machine up, and we'll chop this puppy off. clean this up and go over to slip roll and get back to work. Later. Slip and snot, huh? Not bad. I'm going to clean this up and go over to slip roll and get back to work. Later.